I also have the honor. The need to have qualified medical personnel has again been re-emphasized. The call comes as efforts to address brain drain in the sector continue to rise. According to the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors, at least 85% of Nigerian doctors are planning to leave the country to seek greener pastures. While Nigeria continues to grapple with doctors leaving the country, there have been calls for more indigenous practitioners to take part in the country's health sector. To promote indigenous health system in Nigeria, the Medical Institute, the Open International College of Naturopathic Medicine, is training students to become professionals in traditional medicine. This health initiative believes traditional health care delivery should not be tagged inferior, but rather seen as an alternative intervention to providing medical needs and addressing the health challenges of all Nigerians. Management of the Institute also advised the government to begin to look inward for the cure of some deadly diseases as they affirmed the effectiveness of traditional medicines. We have been having patients beyond our capability, so we found out that the solution is to start training students to meet up with the current uh, natural medicine standard across the world. I've been to some countries, I've been to different countries, so I've, se I've seen professionals practicing, but not in Nigeria yet. So there are a lot of quacks practicing and not doing what they are supposed to do. So this is, what, this is why we have started OICNM. So I'm happy to be the founder and also the provost of the Open International College of Natural Practical Medicine. And now we are graduating our students who finished from natural reproductive medicine, natural reproductive and infertility medicine, and also clinical acupuncture. So out of 40 students, we are graduating just 14, just because we are not after the numbers. We are after the quality. Challenges that we have, that, that, natural, that natural medicine is facing, you know, is acceptability. The government are not looking into natural medicine. It's unfortunate that Nigeria has everything, but they are not looking inwards. Look at when we have outbreak of coronavirus, look at when we have outbreak of deadly diseases, and we still have a lot of diseases that are termed incurable or life-threatening. Yes, they might be life-threatening, but are they truly incurable? No. So these are the challenges that we have. challenges we are facing, or that naturopathic medicine is facing, really, is one, from the orthodox medicine practitioners. They see us as antagonists, and we are not. We are only clamoring for a complementary and integrative way of solving problems. We are here to collaborate. Yes, they have the good sides. They are good in, in emergency cases in different ways. Whereas the natural medicine also have different ways of treating people, which is also good and evidence-based. That is, we've seen results out of this treatment. So the challenges we are facing is we have been seen as an anti orthodox which should not and the second thing is the recognition from the government so that's another challenge so if the government has put the weight behind us full weight that yes we are behind them the bill has been if the bill has been passed then would the challenges will be less and then we'll be able to get grants towards to teach students like the OICNM we have a, an associate professor heading the the Department of Basic Medical Sciences is an associate professor, which tells you that we are after standard. One of the major reasons there is no acceptability in the society for natural medicine practitioners is because a lot of people, like, there isn't a structured net learning program. So, someone can just wake up today and say he's, a, he's an expert in natural medicine or he could say that he has found a cure for so 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 disease and most of those people they didn't really go through any um, like any um, learning experience they didn't go through any school nobody taught them and, and all those so that's why we establish OICN in the first place is that we want to solve the problem of um, people not knowing where to study natural medicine in Nigeria. So if you want to study natural medicine in Nigeria, there's a place that you can go and that is OICN. So that's the first thing we are doing. This gathering here urged Nigerians to be conscious of their health status and embrace traditional medicines for medical treatment. We need to put the tradition, culture and um, our religion into cognizance. Our people are highly cultural and the traditional or natural medicine 
as instituted by the greatest physician himself, which is the Almighty God, is for us now to cooperate and come together to build on what God has instituted for us. These graduates say they will use the knowledge gained during their training to promote the tribal medical sector. Traffic medicine at OICN would give a very high credibility, ability to help solve people's problems, especially as regards health here in Nigeria. I really appreciate OICM for all they have given me in terms of ability, experience and knowledge to, 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 to practice medicine. As I have uh, had the, the longing uh, and the yearning for being a medical practitioner. Access 24 News correspondent Teslim Olanino reports that the session offered um, people the opportunity to network, improve their businesses and project African values. He says the Institute, Open International College of Naturopathic Medicine, promises to redefine natural medicine in Nigeria while continuing to respond to the health challenges facing the people. Thank you very much.